When you're working with storyboard and you're saving up files, then it is not actually being saved out as a single file, but as multiple set of files right here. So if you want to uh, copy out uh, the editing files from one file, uh, let's say for example, one computer to other, then you have to complete, uh, you have to completely move the entire folder. So for example, I'm just going to go around and type in TutorTube right here as project name, and I'm going to click on browse and select out desktop to save my project now. And I'm going to leave everything as default. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around and then create out a project right here. So on my desktop, you can see that this is what you have. So let me just go around, type in uh, something like this over here and create out a project. So as soon as I do that, you can see that I have a project right here, but the project is in the format of a folder, as you can see right here. So you can see that there's frames right here. So if I were to go around, draw things over here and then save it, let me just press control S and it saves out a project right here. So if I were to go around over here on two frames and everything, you can see that in the elements, in the environment, like all of the files are being saved out over here. So all of the files are being saved out uh, over here in individual areas right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around over here and maybe um, I'm going to add a new uh, panel right here. So if I were to add a new panel right here, just like this, so let me just go around, add a new panels right here. If I were to click and drag this out right here, there I have individual frames over here, as you can see right here. So there's individual frames over here that I have right here. So if I were to actually save this out, then all is saved out in these individual uh, folders as separate files right there. So you can go around over here onto let's say for example on the environment uh, and the digital so let's see where this actually is saved out this is actually saved out over here in the drop part you can see that it is saved out all here so these are saved out as individual files in uh, this particular folder in the draw folder as you can see so if you don't have all of these folders and you are trying to open out the storyboard project um, then it won't work it, it won't load up correctly so the main storyboard file that you might want to open up is the S board file right here. And if you want to send this out to, uh, to other people, if you want to actually email this out, you cannot email out an entire folder. So what you may want to do is you may want to right click over here and compress this to a zip file right here. So once you do that, um, what happens is that all of the folder contents are actually stored inside this particular zip right here which you can send out to other people and they will be access, well, will be able to extract this out and access out the project entirely. And that is how uh, the folder structure uh, works inside of uh, uh, Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.